All right, good everybody. This is Emar Supper Two, and we are joined by Beth Van Fleet, the head coach of Georgia State Beach Volleyball. The team concludes its season this weekend at the CCSA Conference Tournament. But before we get to that, let's go over the two wins last weekend over Florida Gulf Coast and uh, North Florida to yes. conclude your uh, that portion of the year. To some in okay. intense victories, I think are both three to two. Yeah, they were extremely close duels. Um, both Florida Gulf Coast and North Florida have had incredible seasons and they are so scrappy and they fight so hard for each other. And so going in, we knew it would be a tough matchup and we were, we were really pleased with how we played and that we were able to come away with two victories on our last regular season day of competition. Yeah, and it gave you 21 wins for the regular season. I think it's the fifth time in program history You've had at least 20 wins. But what about reaching that goal and that accomplishment in uh, this type of year? I think it says a lot about the grit and the dedication that these student athletes put forward every single day. We knew coming into this year, especially that we had a really tough schedule with as many top 10 schools as we were playing and as many ranked opponents in the top 20. So coming into this year, we are looking at it and, and recognizing that, yep, we are not only trying to battle COVID, but we're going to be battling against some of the best teams in the country. And I'm really proud of how this team has showed up day in and day out at practice and weekend after weekend in competition. Yeah, one of your top teams has been uh, Kelly Dorn and Kate Novak. I was able to speak with them earlier this week uh, as a duo, and they're 12 and 5 on the season as a, a doubles pairing. Uh, what about their mm -hmm. contributions to the team and what makes them a good unit? So Kelly and Kate started playing together last year. Um, they, they both have a uh, great ball control and they both understand pretty well what each other wants in different situations. So it's one of the advantages to playing with someone for a while. And the nice thing is that they continue to improve within that role. So, you know, when, when we put pairs together, Sometimes you'll see pairs plateau after a couple of tournaments, and then sometimes you'll see pairs continually to continue to improve. And I think that's something we've seen with Kate and Kelly. They're both very um, non-emotional players. They're very even keeled and um, they know what their strengths are and they do everything they can to play to their strengths in every match that they play. Yeah, and going oh, and speaking with them, they're both upperclassmen. You were able to get uh, get Kate to come back for a fifth season, and but they're both non-Georgians. Uh, Kelly's from Texas, and uh, Kate is from the state of Indiana. What, yeah. What's that recruiting process like for you when you're trying to attract people from around the country uh, to come to your program? Is it a fact like uh, one of them was discussing that it was very unique because? You know, you had one from the state of Indiana. There were no beach volleyball programs, I think, within bordering states. And then one is from Texas and was very close to TCU uh, mm -hmm. as far as her, her living location. But what's that mm -hmm. recruiting process like for you trying to attract all these talents from around the country and maybe even around the world to come yeah. to Georgia? The recruiting process for beach volleyball is I don't think it's very regional at all. So we, right now, I think we have four athletes from Texas on our team. Um, Texas has a ton of talented beach volleyball players who work super hard throughout the year. And so you'll see a lot of Texans on different rosters throughout the country. Um, I, I don't know off the top of my head, but I think we have four or five um, residents, Georgia residents on our team right now, which is um, great. We love, love, love recruiting from Georgia, but our team, um, generally has far more out of state athletes than in state athletes. And, and we've been really lucky to, to be able to attract a couple of international athletes with Becky Tresham from Canada and Elise Saga from Norway. So um, it's, it's really neat, I think, to be able to go to college and be on a team with people from all over the country and different places in the world. I think it helps our athletes to have broader horizon and a bigger perspective and to understand people from different spots all over. So uh, the recruiting process, just as it is, because there are so many people in high school who play beach volleyball and there are not nearly as many opportunities to play beach volleyball in college as there are indoor opportunities, you'll see a lot of people moving across state lines um, more often maybe than some other sports. Yeah, it seems like the pockets are maybe the West Coast and uh, the Southeast, which you're a part of, but especially the state of Florida. 
Uh, yes. do, you, do you find it tough to maybe get players from the West Coast because they have a lot of California options? And I think even Hawaii may have a program. And then sure, Florida, yeah, you've yeah, done your research. <laughs> no, yeah, no, um, I've seen some of the just some of the tournaments and uh, Florida and yeah. Florida as well. They have a lot of programs, but do, yeah. do you find those pockets maybe tougher to attract than maybe people from maybe the Northeast or someone from a Midwest like in Indiana? Yeah, I think there's definitely challenges um, to recruiting in different states. And a lot of that depends on how many in-state programs are, are available. So for example, you brought up Florida. There, that is absolutely a hotbed for high school, for beach volleyball. And because there are so many programs within the state, it's just generally a lot more affordable for athletes to stay in state and play there. And so, you know, that's something that's super important to us is we don't want people going into massive amounts of debt so that they can play beach volleyball in college. And so if people can stay in state and keep the cost down, I think that's a very financially responsible decision. Um, but there, we've certainly had several athletes from California who have been on our team. We've had a couple of Floridians on our team, um, but it is also a lot of fun recruiting from the Northeast and some of the Midwest athletes as well. Yeah. And you conclude your season with the CCSA tournament this weekend uh, that's going to be taking place. Obviously, it, the national title aspiration, national tournament aspirations are, are not available, but uh, what would you like to see from the team just to conclude this season uh, with these matches you have coming up this weekend? Yes, we are so excited for the weekend uh, with a double elimination tournament. It's, we could really play any of the six schools that are on that are in our bracket. So the CCSA is divided into two brackets. There's the blue bracket and the aqua bracket. And so we'll be playing in blue. Um, the other schools that we'll be playing against are UAB, Southern Miss, Florida Atlantic, Florida International, and ULM. And so um, at any point, depending on who wins and who loses each round, we could play any of those schools. So a lot of preparation this week looking forward to that, especially because we have not seen ULM or FIU this, this season. So obviously our goal is to go in and play to our standard and to learn and to adjust and to grow and to walk away um, or crawl away with some W's, but uh, we want to leave it all out in the sand. We want to wrap up this season playing from our hearts and playing for our team and playing for our school and, and having no regrets when we finish on Sunday. All right, well, Beth, thank you for your time. We greatly appreciate it, and good luck this weekend. Thank you so much. We really appreciate you following us this season. It's been great getting to touch base with you regularly. Yeah.